Y'all, who was obsessed with Miss Piggy as a little girl? Was it Freaker? What the hell happened to it? Damn it. Where'd that lipstick go? Somebody help mama. Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. The kids are running around. Click that subscribe button, please. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Y'all, let me tell you how sweet my husband is. Let me tell you, I have a wonderful husband. So I told him, hey buddy, I told him I want to start doing makeup tutorials, but I need a mirror that I can hold in my hand. And I screenshot the Miss piggy mirror and I sent it to him and I said something similar I want something similar to this well he ordered it for me but not only did he order that he got me the whole kit so today we are going to anyway the point of the video is today we are going to go over this whole set what comes in it and how much it costs and I think there's a sale okay y'all so looking online you can get this whole set for $35 from Seattle London's website and the mirror for 12 or or you can go to Sephora and get just this for $32. So if you can, I would probably order from the Seattle London website because you just get more. Unless, of course, you don't want the extra stuff and then just go to Sephora and at least you can get some points. I'll try to link everything below. Let's see if Sephora has the mirror too. Okay, so Sephora does have this, but this is only a lip balm and they're selling it for $20, Sephora. $20, seriously. So $32, $20. And then they have the beauty blender here and they're selling that for 15. So they're actually making a killing. If you want all of these, do not go to Sephora and buy it because that would be, that'd be dumb. I'm not seeing the mirror on Sephora's website, but I will try to link everything below when I find it. Okay, so first things first, because this is the thing that I super, super, super wanted was the mirror. And it was just because I had been using, I had been using, I've only done one makeup tutorial, right? But I was using, when I did that video, I just used this, the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer Compact because this has a pretty big mirror. But I got this now. So I will be doing my videos with this mirror when I get around to doing them. Y'all, I'm still not 100% comfortable because I feel like y'all out there in the world are gonna judge me and be like, girl, you don't even know what the hell you're doing. Like my pink eyeshadow look. We were actually filming um, our Ipsy. I will link that video below. We were filming that, um, which is why I have my makeup and everything done. And then I looked over and saw the box on the ground and I was like, girl, you were supposed to film this like two weeks ago. Get your life together. But you know, things have been rough. They have been rough for a mama. I am missing Mrs. K-O-R-A, not gonna lie. Anyway, this is the lip balm. It's cute packaging and oh, it's like, I always bring it up if there's a packaging that's like this. It's just like the NARS Audacious packaging and I think Milk, Milk Lipstick also. It has that magnetic thing to it there and it says Miss Piggy in embossed letters right there. Milk has the name of the lipstick shade on theirs and just like Milk's, you can see writing there. I'm Hawaiian, so I would say who moi? What did Miss Piggy used to say? Moi. Why? I don't know. Okay, y'all, anyway, this does not look like it would be a lip balm, but apparently it is. I know I watched somebody do a review on this and they were like, what the hell? I spent all that money on just a lip balm. They were not pleased with it. Oh, it feels, y'all, I don't know. It feels like, <laughs> it feels like chapstick and shows up not at all. This is it right here. It's basically just a sheen. Are we focused? I hope we're focused. Um, so I definitely wouldn't go to Sephora and spend $20 on this. But then at the same time, I get those fresh lip balms and they're like $20 or something and I absolutely love them, but they actually show up with a tint. This will show up with absolutely no tint on me because y'all know I have dark lips. Okay, y'all, and then the lipstick of the day is Charlotte Tilbury. I do not know the shade. That is what it looks like, but there is writing like embossed, like pushed in letters and numbers and stuff over the name of the shade. So I don't know. All I know is it is not Pillow Talk. I thought it was Pillow Talk, but I have my Pillow Talk here. So obviously that's not what it is. Anyway, that's the lipstick of the day. We do have a beauty blender. Y'all, I'm very picky about beauty blenders because let me tell you, I watched videos and they were like, oh my God, this is so cute. This is so cute. I got to stop talking and just show y'all. Look, at it's like a little pig nose. Can you see that? Can you see how perfect is that? 
Oh my God, that's so cute. It's cute, isn't it? Um, but y'all, so everybody says that they love this beauty blender from e.l.f. So I went and got it and I don't know if mine's was just too damp when I used it, but it was pulling my concealer up and making it so blotchy and I was just like, y'all seriously? Seriously, yeah, I wasted money on that. This feels nice, it feels velvety. Feels more velvety than a real Techniques. So let me see if I can compare this to my Huda. Okay, y'all, so I actually got my Huda Beauty Blender out and I got these both wet. This actually feels significantly softer than the Huda. This feels, feels softer than the real Techniques. It feels really soft. And it did get a little bit bigger. I don't think it gets as big as like that. Real Techniques will plump the hell up. It's not like that, but it did get a little bigger and it still feels really soft. I don't I like this. The next time I do my makeup, I am going to try this out and I will let y'all know how I like it. I would have liked to have used it before I did this video and use like all of it. Um, but honestly, y'all, this stuff's been sitting here for a few weeks and I completely, <laughs> I completely forgot. So look how cute this is. I like it. You like it? And then it says um, Disney Muppets on the back, so that's super cute. Love it. Oh, y'all, I wanted to do that thing that everybody was doing just because, I mean, I feel like I kind of have to. Like, is it like that? I want your turn. <laughs> it's like that? I want your turn. There we go. Okay, let's give him a turn. There we go. Oh, you got Miss Piggy eyes. Okay. So that's cute. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Give me, th throw me a bow. Okay, y'all. So it actually says that this is supposed to be a donut scented palette. I don't smell donut. Do you smell donut? No. I don't smell donut. I don't know. I don't really smell anything, but this is a cream blush palette. Vegan, cruelty free. What else do you need to know? Lift and refresh your complexion. Blah, 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 blah. Four shades. Okay. Actually has a pretty nice, bless you, Yaya. Pretty nice heavy duty packaging. I'm not mad at this. Bless you again. Okay, so here we have Flaunt It, Fabulous, Oh Kermy, and then Diva right here. Let's swatch them. I don't, I didn't actually pay that much attention. They're definitely, they're definitely creamy. I'm not a big, I'm not a big cream person. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's swatch it and see. Okay, so that's the first two. I'll just swatch the other two really quickly and then we can discuss them. And then we'll do the next two right there. They're definitely, it is definitely cream. Okay, hold on, bud. Okay, so that is what they look like. I don't know. Y'all, let me, ch let me, <laughs> Let me check it out here. It's already dry. It is already dry and it actually feels really soft, so I'm not mad at it. Okay, y'all, I actually had to do some swatches on this side so I could see them myself, but I actually really like this. I feel like this might be a really nice formula. Um, and I feel like for once I'm finally getting, y'all, lately I've been getting things that the shades just really do not work for my complexion. Um, lipsticks, bronzers, like I've just been getting things that do not work for me. But this, I feel like this would work for a number of different people. Let's see if we can actually build this up. I'll do it on this side so that y'all can see it. Um, and then I'll do it for myself on the other side so that I can see it. But it does seem to have like um, a buildable effect option, whatever you want to call it. So let me do it on my own. Let me do it on my side so that I can see and actually know what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all looking at it after building it up, I feel like this shade I probably will not use as much, but these other shades I think will actually be really pretty. This might give me a nice pop of color, I'm not sure. Let me clean my swatches here. I don't really have blush on. I was trying to tone it down because I went with this like boom pink eyeshadow. So I did use this from Milani and this is the rose powder blush, but I didn't want to go with something too crazy. Let's try this one and see because that's the only one that I'm kind of iffy about whether or not that will work for my complexion or people that are darker if that might just look crazy. And then let's use our new mirror also. I like that mirror. You like this mirror? I don't know, y'all. What do you think? Are we even seeing a difference? Let's let's do another dippy dippy in there. Okay. You know what? This will definitely work for me. I don't know if you're darker, if you're a lot darker than me, how well that light shade will look on you. But 
it doesn't look bad on me. I'm not mad at this. And I'm, I'm actually honestly happy. I feel like for $35, $35. I feel like for $35, that's actually really nice because I will definitely use this palette. <laughs> I will definitely use this palette. I can always use a lip balm. I mean, I've been getting a lot of lip balm, lip oil, lip treatments in my subscription boxes lately, so I definitely I do not need any more, but I will use it, so that's nice. And as far as the beauty blender, I'm not going to say I have high hopes for it, but I'm definitely going to try it out, and it's just, even if I don't like it, it's just super cute, and I might even just put it back in this packaging and display it just because it's cute. But y'all, all in all, I feel like this was a short video. It's not much to say. I do, I do actually like this, and y'all know I'm going to tell you if I don't like something. I do actually like this. I kind of want to try this shade. Yeah, let's, okay, y'all, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Why not? Okay, y'all. Oh, well, hello. There's some pigment there. You know what? This is actually, y'all, this is a nice, kind of went a little, <laughs> went a little high up there. Went a little high up and went a little heavy handed. I didn't think that this was going to be, um, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to show up as much, y'all, but at least we, at least we can see and y'all know, use a light hand with it because that one is, <laughs> That one's pigmented. And at least also we know this will definitely work for people who are darker than me. Uh, definitely gonna wash my face off. It's not like I'm going anywhere anyway, but at least we can see a comparison really fast. I'm not mad at this, y'all. Go to Ciate London's website and get it though. Do not, do not go to Sephora because they're trying to tax people and do not let them do that. Also, the packaging is so cute that I almost want to display it because it's pink and goes with our room. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it in this mirror, y'all. Hello. I love this. Oh, Mimi's turn. Boop. <laughs> so I'm happy, y'all. I will link everything below. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Bye.